Eification is a process of retraining the way you hold your mouth by replacing all of the vowels in a phrase with an E sound. The whole purpose of this is to brighten the resonance, to brighten the quality of the sound in order to be read as more feminine. We talked initially in our intro about the breathiness of the sound as a piece of the tapestry of all of resonance. This is another really big one. And I think this one influences gender perception way more than pitch even. I love using eification. It is a difficult exercise and it takes time to master. So I encourage you to spend plenty of time with this video and plenty of time with the recorded exercises to give yourself some room to practice. So how do we do this? So we're going to take the first paragraph of the rainbow passage and we're gonna practice it in three steps. The first step will be monotone on your target pitch floor, replacing all of the vowels with an E sound. The second step will be doing the same thing, but allowing inflection. So we will get rid of your target pitch, trust that you've maintained and trained it so well, but keep our eification. And then the third step will be to try to maintain the oral posture, maintain the shape and the feeling of an E sound without actually going all the way into eification. So we're gonna do this with the first paragraph of the rainbow passage. Without eification, that first paragraph sounds like, when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. A rainbow is the division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. So let's try that monotone on our target pitch with eification. We're gonna change all the vowels to an E. This may take you a couple of tries and that's okay. So I've got my pitch generating application here. I'm just gonna grab my target pitch. G3, there it is. And we're gonna go eified. This is gonna be kind of silly. All right, so eified rainbow passage on our target pitch floor, here we go. When the scene lead streaks, rain drips in the ear, the clicky prism in fear me rain bew. E rain bew is the division of wheat leading to many beautiful killers. These take the shape of a lean rain each with its peat he bevin its tea winds apparently being the horizon. If you feel a little robotic doing this, I, you're definitely on the right track. So now let's try step two. We're gonna do the same thing, eified, but without the target pitch, trusting that you have trained and you are able to maintain that target pitch as we go. So allow some natural inflection, allow some of those glide and slide patterns that you've been working on. And let's try the first paragraph of Rainbow Passage eified with inflection. Here we go. When the scene lead streaks, rain drips in the ear, the clicky prism and fear me rain bew. Irene B is the division of wheat lead into many beautiful killers. These take the shape of a lean green ditch with its pith hairy beef in its tea wings apparently being the reason. Nice job. That's hard to do. All right, third step is we're going to try to hold the shape of the E. We're going to invite that very bright sound without actually going all the way to eification. So let's give it a shot. So before pre-eification, it would have sounded like when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air. Now, post-eification, influenced by that eification, when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air. And I'm exaggerating on purpose a little bit, so I invite you to exaggerate a little bit to find out where your boundaries are, to find out where your ideal is. Remember the idea of Goldilocksing we talked about with breathing? Same kind of concept. So go too far, and then you'll know how to pull it back. So here we go, influenced by E, rainbow passage with inflection, bright, high forward tone. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act like a prism and form a rainbow. A rainbow is the division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. So our next step is to do the same thing, the same eification process with something more conversational. Translate this idea into like everyday speech. So what I think you could try is to give yourself a conversation starter, a prompt. For me, I'm gonna use the question, uh, what are you doing this weekend? So this weekend I'm going to the park with my family and then we'll go to the grocery store. 
So to eify that phrase, I'm giving to the peak with me family, and then we will get to the grocery store. So let's try that in our three steps. Monotone, eified. Step two, non-monotone, with inflection, eified. Third step, brightened with the flavor of E, but not all the way to E. So first I'll need my pitch generator. Mm, there's my target pitch, G3. So let's try this eified at that target pitch monotone. This weekend I'm giving to the peak with me family, and then we will get to the grocery store. Gorgeous. Step two, eified with inflection. This weekend I'm giving to the peak with me family, and then we will get to the grocery store. Third step, with inflection, flavored with E, but not all the way. This weekend, I will go to the park with my family, and then we will go to the grocery store. So hopefully you can hear how this eification process can brighten the sound in an interesting and really quick way. As we know, practice makes progress, efficiency over effort. As you play with this exercise, I invite you to bring your attention to anywhere where you might be holding tension. Sometimes when I teach this exercise, I see some tension show up in the jaw and in the neck. There's this kind of straining situation happening. So if you start to feel that, take a second and relax. The other thing to watch for as you try this is that you're able to maintain a natural inflection pattern. It takes an enormous amount of focus to get this eification technique down. Give yourself plenty of time and go very slow so that you're not sacrificing all that hard work you've done on your glides and slides and your target pitches to add in this eification technique. You'll know you're ready to move on when you can hear and feel the difference between a pre-eified sound and a post-eified sound, and you'll be able to maintain your natural inflection patterns and your glide and slide patterns as you maneuver through this eification exercise.